Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Doug Christie. This card is elite. Elite. 53,000 MT is how much I paid for Doug Christie. And he is an absolute dog. Like, legitimately exceptional card. And I'm going to explain why in today's video. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content. We really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So just like J-Dub, who I did a video with earlier today, DeAndre, who I did a video with yesterday, I think this Doug Christie is the best value shooting guard in my team. He is a six foot six two guard, 88 offense, but 99 defense, 88 three ball, 80 driving dunk. The offensive stats aren't insane. 86 ball handle, 88 pass accuracy, but they'll get the job done. He's 80 block, 86 interior, 93 steel, 93 perimeter, 89 speed, 93 agility, 85 vert, 80 strength, 90 stamina. Nice complete stats. Most importantly, Hoff interceptor, immovable enforcer, and on ball menace. Three exceptional defensive Hall of Fame badges, in addition to 12 golds, which include slippery off ball handles for days and pluckable post lockdown. Challenger off ball pass, pick dodger glove, pogo stick, set shot specials. Excuse me. Strong handle, high flying denier, silver flow game, dimer, physical finisher, versatile visionary, and lightning launch. Uh, badges he is missing. Mainly to me, I think it's the shooting stuff, like maybe a limitless dead eye bailout, and then obviously, obvi uh, many marksman shifty shooter paint patroller. Five of those six would probably be the ones that I'd look to add, maybe all of them except for many marksman. Personally, is what I'd be looking at on this um, Doug Christie card. And the thing about this card that I think really makes him so good is like obviously, he's a really good on ball defender, but he also has an absolutely awesome jump shot, like a really, really smooth, fast, easy shot. Uh, and when you combine elite defense with an elite jumper, that makes an elite three and dark three and D card in the first place. Then you give him pro two fade, which is arguably the best fade in the game. And now you really have like one of the best shot creator or one of the best two guards in the game uh, because he's got an elite level fade, he's got an elite level standstill jumper, and he's got elite level defense. And therefore, what else do you want out of a two guard? He's even got pretty good sigs, good escape, decent behind the back, like nice drag back. Uh, his animations are just nice, decent dribble style. Like this card kind of does it all at the shooting guard position. He can shot create a bit. He's got a really nice release, really nice fade, elite level defense, and he's got enough size as well to guard it like 6'6". Six, six. So decent athletic ability. I mean, he's not the best slasher in the world, but he can put the ball in the rim if need be. I mean, just a super solid, super complete card with no real significant flaws like he even has the shot creation which is really nice uh and i do believe that this this doug christie card if you're looking for a shooting guard is pretty easily your best value shooting guard. i mean prior to this i would have said your best value shooting guard was diamond andrew wiggins who's i mean i don't know exactly how much he was is right now but he was twice the price of what this doug christie costs and for 53 kmt a guy who's this good of a defender with this solid of sigs this good of a release and a top tier fade what else can you ask for honestly he's an exceptional exceptional card very few flaws and just one of the best shooting guards in my team, period. If you look, need a two guard, I don't even need to do the gameplay. I can already tell you, go get Doug Christie. Because look at these animations. He's a dog. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Doug Christie can do. All right, we are hopping into a salary cap game here. And unfortunately, our opponent's team isn't very good. So we should probably pretty easily cook with Doug Christie, I would think. Nice mid-range first possessions knocked down. Reason I'm playing salary cap for this gameplay instead of showdown is number one. I sold my whole team. If y'all saw my video earlier, so my team for showdown isn't as good. Don't really want to sweat a tier one showdown game without my team being as good. But also, uh, I'm trying to get salary cap done quickly this season so that I can get that um, free diamond from salary cap for 2,500 points, the second free diamond this season from the shards. So uh, I'm definitely trying to get that done in this video, or not in this video specifically, but I'm trying to get that done quickly. So that's why I'm playing salary cap. Um, and you know what? This is not a very good opponent squad at all. He's got like emeralds and sapphires out here. So this should be, I would think, a very easy gameplay compared to most, uh, but two points so far for Doug Christie, and we're going to get him really going offensively, I think, in this one. This should be, again, like I said, I mean, Natisse Thibel is a good defensive card, especially for an Emerald, but when it comes to comparing against uh, top-tier type cards, Natisse Thibel is not that level, you know what I mean? So I think this is a pretty favorable matchup. That was a very interesting animation in that fade there. It gave me like a weird midi fade animation I wasn't expecting in that. Threw off the shot timing there a little bit, so that's on me. But we do get a stop from behind of Marquise Daniels. Run the floor. And what is this spacing? Let's get into our freelance, please, so we can get the proper spacing. Come off of this. Now escape. Shot. I don't care. I'm shooting it. Oh, that's not even a bad shot. Clint Capella is a good defender, but kind of forced that three ball up. Thought we were going to hit it. We're going to shoot a lot of shots with Doug Christie in this game. They may not all go in, but that's okay if not. Um, get back into it. Let's go. Good defense, Marquise Daniels. Throw it up to Sharif. Over to Doug Christie. Catch and shoot. Four, three. Green light. Doug Christie. Knock down jump shot. And he hits the three. And we have a quick seven to two lead. This will be a blowout, I would think. 
This dude's team is not good at all, even for salary cap. Um, probably going to drop a salary cap lineup video and like talking about salary cap rewards tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And um, I would, again, recommend playing salary cap, especially if you have played the other rounds this season, uh, because you can get two more shards out of the three needed for that second diamond hidden gem or maybe your first diamond hidden gem, depending on how much salary cap you played this season. But catch. Pump fake in the corner. Now let's go off the screen and let's shoot that pro two fade. Yes, sir. That's a great shot. I got to hit it though. And we're shooting another one. I shoot a heavy too. I don't care. Oh my goodness. He grained the heavy. I thought it was going to be a heavy and I was right. And we grained it anyway. His jumper is so butter. Contests sometimes just don't seem to matter in this game. And that is elite level defense by um, Doug or elite level shot making by Doug Christie. Good defense there as well against Batiste Thibel. Get back to the corner, blitz the screen, come out the corner, watch this. Is he running a three-point play? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not going to work for you, brother. This is not going to work. Doug Christie's through that. He's up on the ball. Good contest. Good defense. I feel bad for my opponent, Loki. His team is just not even close to able to compete. Even in salary cap, I don't know how your team is this bad. That's a terrible take. Just kind of trolling right now because we because I know that our team is so much better. It's going to be a free win regardless. So kind of trolling on that shot. But he misses with Doug Chris, or with uh, Matisse Thibel. Somehow gets the offensive rebound, I guess. Um, it is what it is, though. Get back in the play. Don't give up a stamp. That's the only way he's going to score with Clint Capella, and I gave it up. That's bad. Um, give it back to Doug Christie. We've kind of shot some stupid shots them to start this game off, and yet we still have an eight to eight, eight points with him already and a 10 to four lead. So it doesn't really matter too much, right? Escape away. Shot again. Doug Christie. Dude, his shot is so butter. His jumper is so butter, bro. You combine that with top tier fade and top tier defense, and you just have such a good card at the two guard position because he can be a secondary ball handler if you need him to do that and if you need him to shot create he can do that a bit if you want defense he's obviously got that in the elite level um half a movable as well on a two guard is so nice to have like the versatility this card provides is really really nice good defense here don't give up the blow by and that's great d again and we're running out in transition and that's going to end the first quarter unfortunately i didn't realize how much time was left well i guess technically the first half but 13 to 4 lead doug christie already has 11. I mean, that's a great start. No doubt about it. Um, this is basically, like I said, though, I think pretty much a completely free win. Um, so I don't know how impressive this is exactly, but looks like his bench is better than his starters. He's got, uh, I don't, I mean, at least he's got Ruby Mario Chalmers out here. That's an uh, improvement. Two guard is, is that Tabo Cephalosha as well? Oh, he's literally got a better, oh, okay. So I was, his bench is like, oh, this team is much better than I thought. He must have just run those guys in the first half. He's got Diamond Jaren out here. He's got Tabo Cephalosha. This is a much better test. Why did you not just put these guys out here to start? You just let yourself walk into a freaking 13 to 4 deficit. Make it 16 to 4. Knock down. Don't leave Doug Christie. That's going to be the result every single time. And we are hoping right now. Beautiful start to this game. Jump, contest. Nope, that's all right. But still, great start. And uh, now he's actually got a good team out here. I don't, I don't feel bad for you anymore. I just think I just am confused by your lineup decisions in terms of starting a bench that is much worse. I guess his strategy is he starts those guys in the first half and then, oh, I was trying to get a dunk there and Jaron came out the corner and played good defense on that. That's all right. Um, contest, Tabo, that's fine. Good D. Look at DeAndre Ayton. Run the floor. Find Doug Christie and let's get right back into our freelance. going to try to get a three ball off potentially here, maybe off the screen or something if we can. Uh, actually, we're just going to downhill drive all the way inside. Get to the rim and dunk it. He can dunk pretty good. Like I said, he's not a bad slasher either. 16 points on 6 of 11 so far for Doug Christie. And now we're going up against a much higher level of competition than we were in that first half, too. And we are still absolutely chilling. Uh, I actually should throw him on ball against Chalmers. Like, obviously, Ruby Mario Chalmers can guard himself as well. But uh, I'm not too worried about this matchup. Good defense. Go under. Get back into the play. Good D. No way. Good block. And we have the ball again. With Doug Christie, drive the baseline, chill, kick corner. Oh, that's a bad freaking pass animation. Are you kidding me? Uh, I guess. And that's not a steal either. Oh, this game's trolling. Still up by 10, though. We are fine. Uh, I do want to shoot the fade. That's the one thing I haven't really done. I missed one fade early in this game and since then haven't attempted another one. So if we can get off the screen into a heavy fade, that's not the shot we we're looking for. I want to shoot a fade. I don't know about it. I want to shoot a heavy. Uh, we're going to go get another one, though. This one's open. That one's green, right? Oh, that's a lightly as well? He's getting some really good contests right now. That's I didn't think that was going to be a lightly. I thought that was going to be an open. I'm not even going to lie. Good D. Mario Chalmers. Make a play then. I love that. Um, watch this rim run. Get back to freaking Mario Chalmers, please. Good defense. Watch the behind the back. I'll X switch this so that Christy can guard Sharif just for more size on the matchup there. And that's great defense. Just a really good defensive possession. We get a shot clock violation. 
And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm already at the point where I don't need to see much else, if anything else, with this card. I am very impressed by what I've seen out of Doug Christie. I do want to try to get that fade off one time, though, without it being uh, a big contest, uh, if we could if we could do that. So we're going to try our best anyway. And I thought that was an illegal screen on Dow Drake. We'll take the foul on Mario Chalmers. I just want one fade. If they'll just give me one fade that I can get off the screen and create enough space and get my green, we will be chilling. And that will be good enough for me in this game. Uh, we're going to reject this. Now we're going to use the screen. I'm going to. Oh, oh, come on. They forced me to stumble and into, into like a pickup dribble instead of the animation I was looking for. And one. I'm going to continue to force the fade. I, I do not care. He's doing a great job of guarding the fade, though. I will say most people don't do a great job of contesting the fade. Like that's a very much a bailout option in a lot of ways. But he's doing a good job against it defensively right now. But doesn't really matter. Doug Christie still has 18 points and is playing great um bad pass should have been a steal that's all right good defense stay on the ball step up mario and there we go get through the screen doug christie what are you illegal screen he just got hoed i'm not gonna lie he, he clipped me with that screen and they said it was a legal screen i will take it but he definitely just got hoed um all right 20 to 8 let's finish this possession out let's finish this game out basically with one more bucket if we can with doug christie catch here again he's got a good defender on him but i don't really care all that much run one way run the other into a fade midi fade will work yo how is he getting lightly on everything i guess he knows i'm trying to fade at this point but how is he getting a lightly on everything that one didn't look like it was gonna be lightly at all like that's and then i leak out of the corner and give an offensive rebound i was just trying to run out and transition oh my gosh whatever bro uh, they're just not gonna give me the fade this game i guess it is what it is hit the corner one more try run corner fade he's still jumping I don't think I've gotten contested this many times in a row on a fade all year. Like, I don't really know what to say about this, to be honest. Unfortunately, last couple possessions have not been it. But overall, 18 points, one rebound, 6 of 15, 4 of 7 from 3. In the second half, he's only 2 of 7, 1 of 3 from 3. There was 4 of 8, 3 of 4 from 3 in the first half. This card's a beast. Don't get it twisted at all. He is a really, really good card. Great release. Decent movement. Great fade. Elite defender. If you need a shooting guard, Doug Christie is your guy. Incredible value for 50-something thousand MT. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.